Hi, I'm Professor E. Welcome to the robot program. In this episode, we'll show you how to make your robot wave when it recognizes a face using EasyScript. Let's meet DJ in the studio to learn how. This exercise can be performed with JD6 or Roly. As always, we want to start with a fully charged robot. Make sure to disconnect your robot before you get started. So remember to disconnect the battery. We're going to gently rock back and forth the charger and hold the plug rather than the wires. In this lesson, we're going to use any of these three Revolution robots, JD6 and of course Roll E. But we're going to demonstrate it using JD. To begin, turn them on. Load up your Easy Builder software. And we're going to choose Skip to go to Easy Robot School. Choose Example Projects. Now, if you have a 6 robot, you're going to want to choose the file called 6Bear. If you have the Roll E robot, choose Roll E Bear. And if you have JD, which we're going to use in this episode, choose. JD Bear. JD Bear. Sounds like he should have a maybe like a fuzzy outfit or a suit. And a picnic basket? And a picnic basket. Open assembly instructions. We're going to say not now. And if you have a JD robot, it's going to ask you for a servo fine 2 profile, in which case you say load. And if you have a 6 or a roll E, it's not going to ask you that question. Okay, so now we're starting with the Bear workspace. The reason we use the Bear project is because it gives you a nice simplified workspace to start adding the controls that you want. Now we're going to connect to the robot over Wi-Fi. So make sure your robot is lying down if it's a JD, of course, and choose the JD Wi-Fi network. Press the connect button and stand back while he initializes. Okay, so he's in the calibration position lying down. He is. Because we're using a JD robot, I always like to start off by getting JD to stand up on his own. So we're just going to choose stand from sit in the auto position for JD. Now you six users and roll users don't have this, but it's always fun to watch. Okay, so now that we have our JD standing up, let's begin programming him to wave when he sees your face using the camera. I'm going to choose project. Add camera camera device. What we've just done is added a new behavior to the robot. The robot now can see using the camera. Let's start the camera so we can see what JD is actually looking at. He's looking at Andreas. There he is. Now remember, a camera is an example of a computer peripheral. So this is what the robot is using to take in information that we're then going to use in the program. If you click on the tracking tab, you're going to see there's different tracking types. Color, motion, face, etc. In this episode, we're just focusing on face. We're not going to check anything yet. We're first going to make some code, or create some code, that's going to get JD to do something when he detects that particular object that we select. So we're going to push the gear button on the camera control. In here, we have a lot of options we can configure for JD to do when the camera is interacting with his motors and things like that. But we're not going to worry about that right now. We're going to go right into scripts. And you'll see here there's a checkbox saying execute these tracking scripts. Make sure that is checked. And it should by default be checked. And then it says tracking start. If you want to know what that means, you can put your arrow over the blue question box and of course it'll bring up some assistance. So any code added to the tracking start event will execute when the robot detects an object and begins tracking. Push the pencil icon to load up the interface for editing. With the default installation of Easy Builder, you're going to be prompted with this window which says the current script editor is Blockly. That means your current editor is the Blockly interface. If you don't want to see this again, choose the checkbox, do not show this again, and then choose close. I'm just going to choose close because I don't want to forget that that's my default interface. We're going to use Easy Script. So choose the Easy Script tab. And in here, we can begin typing to enter our code. Now, we want the robot to wave, which means the auto position control 
which we used earlier to get the robot to stand up, well, we want to tell that control to wave, to run its wave action. So to do that, we have two different ways we can do it. We can right click in the editor, and it brings up all of the controls that are added to the project, which are behaviors. And for example, in here, we can look at the auto position. And if we can scroll down, we will see the wave. But I'm not going to select that. Instead, I'm also going to show you another place where you can get that data, under Cheat Sheet. Cheat Sheet will do the same thing. It'll query all of the controls in the project and display all the things it can do. In this case, we're going to choose Wave, and it adds it to our code. So what this command does is tells the auto position to run the action called Wave. And now we could type that on our own, right? You could, but it'd be difficult to find out what the names are. So the Cheat Sheet and right-clicking in the editor are easy ways to be able to access all different behaviors of different controls. Good, so you can make your program faster and get to the good stuff. That's right, it makes you a quicker programmer. Now we want the robot to speak as well as wave. So let's press the Enter key and let's begin typing some commands. Say, and as you can see, it's showing all of the commands that start with the letters as you type. That's called IntelliSense. Very powerful. So we're going to type in say, easy B, and I see you and press enter. Now we'll choose the save button and save again. So now when the robot detects one of the tracking types we talked about earlier, it's going to run that piece of code. So it doesn't matter what tracking type we choose. In this case, we're going to use the face. So why don't you step over here? Okay. And I'm going to turn the robot around. So JD is facing there. And I'm going to choose the tracking type face with a checkbox. There. So now once you step in front and show JD your face and see what he does. I see you. Hi, JD. That's excellent. Now let's see the same code as an example with six for okay. you six owners out there. So okay. Step over. We'll turn six around. And I will choose face tracking. All right. Let's okay. see what Six does when he sees your face. Track my face. Hi, Six. That's cool. Now let's see the same thing with Rolly. Okay, Rolly's turn. Step over. Put Rolly here. Now I will choose tracking and the face type. Okay, let's see how Rolly responds to your face. I see you. He does Hi, see you. I see you too. <laughs> That's excellent. In this episode, we showed you how to use EasyScript to make your robot wave when it recognizes a face. As always, we want to start with a fully charged robot. Make sure you disconnect and power on your robot before you get started. You're going to connect using the Wi-Fi connection and the blue connect button in the Easy Builder software. If you have a JD, make sure you load your servo profile. All of the robots are going to start from their bare projects. The bare project is just an example project that is simplified so that you don't have as many controls or windows on the screen. In this example, we use JD. So I'm going to walk you through what we did in a little bit more detail using the Bear JD project. The first thing we need to do is to add the camera control from the project tab at the top of the window. Add control, camera, camera device. This allows us to activate the robot control and this will give us all of the camera options when we go to the easy script window. To actually start the camera we have to press the green start button and now we can see what the robot is seeing. To implement the tracking features, we go to the tab that says Tracking. And now we can see all the different tracking types that our robot is capable of tracking. So if we go down to the gear in the bottom left-hand corner, this is where we're going to see more options for manipulating the tracking and for customizing what we want to do. In this case, we're going to go to the tab that says Scripts. When we enter the Scripts tab, we want to make sure that we have the checkbox checked that says execute these tracking scripts when object tracking begins or ends. There are two different options here. 
We can either tell the robot to execute a script when it starts tracking an object, so it detects a face and starts tracking, or when it's no longer tracking that object. So if something goes out of the window or disappears, we can then have a script execute once it's finished. In this case, we want our robot to wave and we'll get it to say something when it actually detects a face. So in that case, we want to use tracking start. So beside the open dialog box here, we have two different options. We have this little blue question mark and we can always hover over these question marks if we have any additional questions or want to see more information. But we're going to click on the pencil square and this brings us to the text editor where we can add in our code. You're going to get a script that tells you that Blockly is your default script editor. For now, just close that because we're going to use EasyScript. We're going to change to EasyScript using the blue tab at the top of the page. Once we're in EasyScript, we see the editor where we can actually type in code and control what the robot's going to do. Before we start adding code, let's take a second to actually look around the text editor. You'll notice that the lines on the left are numbered. As we start to type, we can see different numbers added. This allows us to debug our code. We also have the option to make the font smaller or to make the font larger. Here there's a checkbox that says Enable IntelSense. IntelSense is an automatic predictor that's going to help you fill in the blanks and to find out what you're trying to type into the text editor. Now let's go to the two different ways to add code. We can right click in the empty text editor space and we'll see a menu that has all the options for the controls we added in the bare project. So the two that we have added in this example are the camera control and the auto position control. We said that we wanted to make JD wave when he detects a face. We're going to scroll down until we see control command, auto position, auto position action, wave. This is going to trigger an event when the robot sees a face. And in this case, we're going to tell the auto position control that we want it to perform an auto position action, and that action is wave. This line of code is a complete action, and so this is a method that the robot is going to undertake once it gets into this line of code. It's good coding practice to maintain a consistent naming convention. In this case, we start each new word with a capital, and we type everything else in lowercase characters. Another way to add code is to use the cheat sheet over on the right. From the blue tabs, you can go ahead and click Cheat Sheet, and this is going to show you all of the different controls that are available, again, using the controls that we added to the Bear project. So now that we have our robot waving, we also want it to say something after it sees our face. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to type say, and now IntelSense that I mentioned earlier is going to show you a bunch of options. There's say, say easy B, say easy B wait, and say wait. Just like in the other workspaces we've used, like Blockly or RoboScratch, the wait command ensures that the robot completes the entire control command before it moves on to the next one. In this case, we're going to click on Say Easy B, which means that the robot is going to speak out of the internal speaker that's housed within the actual body of the robot. If you click on Say, that will actually have your computer do the talking instead of the robot. So we select Say Easy B, and now we see something called a string. So a string is contained within these quotation marks, and this is where we can put the text that we want our robot to speak. The EasyScript already knows that it has to convert whatever we type into speech. So you can go ahead and type whatever you want your robot to say. We're going to go ahead and type, Hello, I see you. So now before we move on, we want to review the code that we've implemented into this script. On line one, it says control command, auto position, auto position action, wave. Here we're telling the auto position control that we want to perform the action wave once we enter this script. After that entire line of code is executed, it's going to move down to line three, where it says, say easy B, hello, I see you. This is a string that will be automatically converted from text to speech by our robot. Okay, so now that we have our two lines of code, we're gonna go down to the bottom and we're gonna say save. So we can see here now that a multi-line script has been saved in the tracking start button here. So if we click save at the bottom, we now have all of our script safely saved within our camera control settings here at the bottom. To actually enable the tracking, we have to go ahead and click on face tracking, which is going to tell the robot that it can start looking for something. So to test it out, I'm gonna turn JD towards me. and I'm gonna keep my face out of the frame until I'm ready to do tracking. This is gonna be our moment of truth. So I click on face to start the tracking. 
and turn JD towards me. Hello, I see you. Thanks, JD. So, just like before with our other examples, we were able to have the robot start looking for a face and then execute the script that we customized and put into the settings once it saw that face and started tracking it. This exercise can be done on Roly, Six, or JD because they all have arms to wave. You can use the exact same script for all of these robots. Thanks for watching this lesson. Now stay tuned for the quizzes. When does a tracking start event script begin execution? What does the following line of code do? Control command, auto position, auto position action, wave. Which tracking type must be enabled for this activity? Find the answers at therobotprogram.com.